Hello again, Ian Stick with Mastermind Games, back this time with Malifaux Rats. This will both be both long and short, short because each individual rat has a simple color scheme and I'll only really be doing one on camera, long because I have 12 of these things that I'll be painting off camera. So, uh, diving in and arbitrarily picking uh, this one, Woodstain Brown 09160. So, like all life native Malifaux, even the rats are bigger and more ferocious than their earthly counterparts. And these things about the size of a small dog overall. That should do. And our favorite disease vector for Hamlin and totally fits his Pied Piper image. Trying to get underneath a bit too. And that will apply to the other 11. <laughs> Alright. Next up, Rosy Skin 09068. And while the uh, there is a bit of flash on some of the tails because those were very difficult to clean without breaking. They're not the most fragile piece I've had to deal with on a Malifaux model, but they are one of the more frustrating to be certain. It's, this brush is not that great for this. Probably gonna have to switch over, but. A nice solid coat. On this voracious collie sized rat. And now I'll apply to the rest. Next up, yellowed bone 09143. Just a tiny bit on the front teeth there. If there's one thing rats do best, it's chew on things. And apply to the rest and get the last base coat on. Okay, last base coat. Cloudy Gray 09089. The camera's not really liking to focus on these darker colors, so there's not a whole lot I can do about that right this minute. This bottle is almost shot, so this might be the last time I use this specific color. And some of these are hanging out on pieces of rubble, so I'm just carefully picking that out and going into the base. May as well show off the more challenging ones. It's kind of ambiguous where their paws were, because I believe that's the right terminology for a rat's feet. So. It's got the rock, and I can loosen up and go a lot more quickly on the base, which is going to that hand sculpt thing I like to do. Okay. Apply to the rest, and then I can start shading. All right. Time to shade. So I had to substitute a little rainy gray 09038 
for what I was using previously, the cloudy gray, because I ran out completely. It's a little lighter, but it'll work. So pure black, 09037, the first shade. Normally I'm going to use uh, one part paint to one part water, but this, in this case, because it's so dark, I'll be using two to three parts paint, maybe even as high as four to one part, uh, or other way around, two to four parts water to one part paint. That's a bit too much. Just going over the fur, trying to avoid the teeth and paws and tail. Okay, that's not too bad. Apply to the rest, then move on. Okay. My uh, camera has been really buggy. I got a major update after that last, or before that last clip, and a software record, and it's getting kind of funky. Uh, stained Ivory 09142, but yeah. You gotta love it when you update a program and it actually makes things worse. This is stained ivory. Just a little nick on the teeth there. Let's do one more because I think it got off camera for a second. There we go. Kinda. Alright, apply to the rest and move on. Okay. Okay. Rosy Shadow 09067. I'm very antsy about my computer right this second. And this is the last shade on the actual rat. Next will be the shading on the base, and I can highlight in detail. And let's just go on the pause. I think I'm using the term right. And I'm not too worried about hitting the base with this because that'll be dark enough to uh, cover this up. Just a long tail like that. And let's go ahead and do one more. Letting the paint flow where it wants to and apply to the rest and move on. Okay, I'm gonna do the eyes before I do the last basing. So, uh, blood or last shade blood red 09003. Just give them all B little red eyes. And this camera really does not like focusing on darker colors, so this is something I'm gonna have to how to either work around or bear with, so just carefully tying in the eyes with a very fine brush. Okay, then apply to the rest. Okay, all the eyes are painted, so Stormy Gray 09088. Because I had to substitute some rainy gray for the cloudy gray I ran out of. This will look a little different on some of these, but that simply is what it is. So just thinning out and letting it run all over the base, avoiding any parts of the actual wrap that touch. A nice thorough coverage here. And I'll go ahead and do one of the trickier ones. One of the rats resting on the rock. It's kind of ambiguous where the pause end and the rock begins. So I'm 
kind of had to eyeball it. Okay, get the rest off camera and then start highlighting. Okay, I think we finally got it. Having a lot of trouble with uh, frames dropping, so yellowed bow, or no, creamy ivory 09144. Using a dry brushing technique, so straight paint, no water, and a ragged feather brush. I need a small one, so about like that. Rubbing most of the paint out on a paper towel till it looks like there's nothing left, and then just lightly dusting the area to be affected. And now the one isn't going to be as obvious as it is on other models, just because of how tiny that tooth is. But my I don't know if I updated my recording program, but Windows updated as well, and it is causing a lot of problems. Oh boy, the joys of technical difficulties, right? Apply to the rest, move on in a second. All right, rosy highlight 09069. And this is going on the paws and tails. And apply to the rest. Okay, major one, shield brown, zero nine one six one. Yeah. In terms of real world, I think the Norway rat is the biggest. I'm pretty sure these things are quite a bit bigger. But I tried switching to uh, black foam core for my background here, and that actually worked a lot worse than the white for the focusing issues. Instead of dropping one or two frames a segment, I was dropping 10 to 20 a second. Okay, apply to the rest and move on. All right, last highlight, Misty Gray 09090. Find the right brush for the job. Get a little more paint out of there. Might have a bit too much here, but it'll be okay. Slightly dusting all around. We'll do one more. little paint in that case. Being careful not to hit the uh, paws or the tail. Okay. Apply to the rest and move on. Alright, second to last step. Flathead brush and pure black 09037. <clears throat> going to line the edge of the base. Done the same way as a base coat, so a little bit of water in the brush, not overly much, being careful to avoid the base work I've done. Again, this is just something hand sculpted. I just did really quick, just a layer of sculpting putty in the hollow area of the base with a pattern 
quickly carved into it. Well, by I should say sculpted in while wet, not carved, because that implies actually removing material. With the model glue on top after drying. Okay. Now I just need to apply to the rest. And one more step. All right, last step. Pure white, 09039, and I'm just going to put a Roman numeral on the back of each base so that by marking that same number on the cards, I can quickly tell which rat is which, who's damaged, who's not, etc., etc. And this paint's about shot. Well, it's two paints that have uh, gone out on me in the course of this video. Okay. So doing this essentially as a base coat, just on the back. One. Kind of an ugly one, but... Three, four. tangled up here. Let's see, a four, five, and six. I keep hitting my camera. And seven. Keep punching my camera. Nine. And ten. Eleven. And punch my camera again. Twelve. Roman numerals because they are a bit easier to paint than the um, regular numbers. I can't think of the proper name right now, but there we are. A 12 strong swarm of Malifaux rats. Got two more videos for Hamlin's crew, and then switching games. So, well, my rats are running away. Until next time, I'm Ian Stuckey with Mastermind Games, signing out.